Question 4a. A boy sitting on a tree at a point 12 meter above the ground observed the angle of elevation of the top of a tower 60 meter away was 28 degrees. So suppose this is the tree. The boy is sitting here. Okay. This is the tower. And the angle of elevation from the boy to the top of the tower is 28 degrees. That's the angle of elevation, right? The line joining the two points, the angle they make with the horizontal is called angle of elevation at the lower point. Okay. It is 60 meter away. That does not mean this is 60 meter away. Okay. The distance between the tree and the tower is 60 meter away. Find the correct to one decimal place the height of the tower. What is the height of the tower? Let's say this is H. Okay. So he is sitting 12 meters above ground. So this is already 12. So that means this and this is already 12. And this is H minus 12. Since 12 are gone out of H, what we want to find out? The remaining one is h minus 12. So let's simplify this somewhere else. Okay, we have this as 60 meters. This is h minus 12. This is 28 degrees and we have to find h. So since this angle is confirmed to be 90 degrees, we can use a trigonometry in this and this side is opposite side of the angle. This side is the adjacent to the angle and the third one is hypotenuse it is of no use right now so we can use the one that involves adjacent and opposite and that is tan so we can write tan 28 degrees is opposite uh, over adjacent which is h minus 12 over uh, 60. so uh, let's cross multiply. 60 will multiply with tan 28. So it becomes 60 tan 28 degrees equal to h minus 12. h minus 12 is without denominator because 60 went and multiplied with the other side. And now we can bring this 12 to the left side and add to 60 tan 28. And we got our answer straight away. Let me put this in the calculator and I'll get my answer. By the time I do that, you can do a very simple job. Just hit that subscribe button and subscribe to this channel and I will make more videos like this for you. I got H equal to 43.9 and uh, they are asking us to give answer in how many decimal places? Correct to one decimal place and this is the answer, meters. B part of the same question says that the scale on a map is 1 to 5000. If the distance between two points on map is 12 centimeters, so if there are two points, the distance between them is 12 centimeters, find in meters the actual distance between the points. So 1 to 5000 means if the distance between two points is 1 centimeter, the actual distance between them on ground will be 5000 centimeters. Look at the ratio, there is no unit given, right? It's because whatever unit we write on one, same unit can be written on the other. So if one centimeter is equal to 5000 centimeter, how about 12 centimeters? So if I multiply this by 12, I will multiply this also by 12, and that will be the answer. So 12 centimeters will be equivalent to. 60,000 centimeters. But this is the logical way of doing it. In exams, you can't do the way I did it. Okay. So how do you show in exams? Yeah, the ratio, it is 1 over 1 uh, ratio 5,000. We can write this as 1 over 5,000. This is the ratio. And write the equivalent ratio of 1 to the uh, on the right side 
and one is the distance on map. So distance on map is 12 centimeters. So write 12 centimeter here and uh, call it x. And now we can cross multiply x multiply by one is x equal to 12 times 5,000, which is exactly same, 60,000 centimeters. Don't change the unit till the last step, okay? And now we'll convert this into meters because they're saying give your answer in meters. So we know that 100 centimeters equal to one meter. So 60,000 over 100 will be our answer. So equal to 600 meters. Additionally, you can write the actual distance.